then, hobbyists. Not wishing to bang this drum too hard, as it has been said multiple times, especially by us here at RC So-and-So. But the Tamiya Lunchbox is probably the most versatile and moddable vehicle from Tamiya. Well, possibly from all RC manufacturers. You can do some clever things with this chassis, but the most common modification is to the shell. Box Fresh. These are traditionally yellow or black, but there have been blue, red and gold variations. Even on the box that they come in gives you a few different serving suggestions. As the body is hard white plastic, some just throw the decals on this and start running them. Not that we judge these types of people overly harshly. It doesn't just stop with paint and decals, as the only limitation is your own imagination. In fairness, the lunchbox in this video started life as a black edition, and this could have been where it stayed. But it was turned into the glitter box and heavily upgraded. After a while, the glitter was peeled off. The chief engineer is still finding glitter from it. Well, that's the reason he gives Mrs. Chief Engineer on why there's always glitter on him, especially when he's supposed to be working nights. Anyway, the lunchbox was turned into the Murder She Wrote lunchbox. Then, Angela Lansbury died. We did consider making it a Richard Maidley box, hoping that lightning would strike twice. We decided against it, as neither of us could bring ourselves to look at stickers with this smug self-promoting face on. So, instead, we made it into the Dracula lunchbox, which was fun, but short-lived. Now, on its fifth regeneration, here's the chief engineer to explain a little bit more about what he's been up to. Suspiciously, he doesn't mention glitter once. So what we're going to do, we're going to change the theme of this lunchbox to something different. Uh, we put our heads together and uh, we've come up with what we think is going to be a great design. So at the moment, this shell um, has currently got red perspex inside and it also had this fellow in, who, Dracula. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the shell and we're gonna cut it again. This time, we're gonna cut the whole back section off at the top. Now it has been done before, as a few of you are aware that you've seen online, but the idea for this is somewhat different that we haven't seen before and uh, don't think it's been done before. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my trusty Dremel with a little cutting disc and I'm going to slice the back part and the top off the lunchbox. Then with some Perspex I'm going to fill it in, um, create a bed along the back and then create a bulkhead at the back um, so that will be encased and then fill it where needed uh, sand it down and then give her a respray so I'm going to mask it up to where I'm going to cut it cut on the lines as straight as I can um, and then start the fabrication of it if you like um it's the first time that i've cut a lunchbox in that way uh, in this way so hopefully it should turn out quite well um and then it'll be like a flatbed little truck so i'll get the shell off i'll get all the chrome parts off 
the front, back and the sides and then get cut in. So first step done, I've cut the roof and cut the back off. I was going to mask it up but trusted myself and followed some lines, did it by eye. So this is the result. Ta-da! There we go. That is the back cut off a lunchbox. So I've got a little bit of sanding to do. Um, square off the edges. Um, make sure it's all straight. But I'm impressed, it's good. And to tell you the truth, it's still pretty rigid, the actual shell. That's brilliant. So there's the roof that we cut off. That's good. Um, this part I'm not going to throw away. I'm actually going to keep this because it might come in handy for something else. Another build or another idea. So I'll get all these edges cleaned up, straightened up. And then next job is to perspex it all, box it all in and then go from there. That hasn't taken long at all. Um, with the Dremel, it's done a good job. So it is, like I said, still in good shape, even though we've taken out such a massive chunk of the uh, shell. So, okay, let's move on. That's the bulkhead done and in place. There we go. So next is to do the bed. Um, so another piece of perspex, mark that, cut that out and then glue that into place. That fitted really well, the bulkhead. And so all I've got to do is sand that down and then that's done. Okay, so I was going to put flat perspex in the back of the lunchbox, but just had another idea. I've found an old plastic container. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this and shape it and integrate it into the back of the lunchbox. So I'm going to clean it up, take those little hinges off, clean up the side, take that off and then shape it and fit it nicely on the back of the lunchbox. So then it's got a cool little bed in the back. Let's do it. Okay, so we've got the bed all cut, sanded off and ready to go on. So everything's nice and smooth, everything's straight. So now I'm going to attach the back and then use a little bit of milly put, I think, just to fill a couple of edges if need be, uh, sand it all down. And then we'll have pick up a pickup lunchbox. All done on the fabrication of the lunchbox flatbed truck. Come out really well. So I put the Perspex bulkhead in and then I repurposed a plastic tray and I've integrated that onto the back of the lunchbox. Very happy, come out really well. So all I've got to do is tidy up some edges, smooth it all off and get ready for paint. Very nice. The lunchbox, the flatbed lunchbox, which is now a rescue vehicle. Check that out. Even got the Lunchbox Junior on board. It's superb, come out well. Um, so what we did, cut the back off the Lunchbox shell and fabricated the back for it. Put in some nice metal check plate on the deck. And there she is. Painted her up in a nice white and put on some Rescue decals, I uh, got those from China a couple of weeks ago. 
they arrive pretty quick, really good. So I got the gas can, we got some nice lights on top. Let's have a look at those. There you go, look at that. Proper rescue vehicle there. Also got a winch at the front, not a real one. Well, that looks good. It's come out well, really happy, really impressed. Uh, the lunchbox, probably our favorite vehicle. Looks really good. This is the hopped up chassis with all the aluminium upgrades, the oil shocks. And the Lunchbox Junior looks great up there. Really sturdy, bolted her up, a little bit too heavy um, on top, um, top heavy, so just gotta be careful on the cornering, but looks really cool, really cool. Um, Lunchbox Junior fits really well there. So very happy with that, come out well. So, gonna take her out. Have a run, see how she performs. Good thing about these lunchbox shells, just your imagination. Um, you know, you can do anything with them, being the hard shell. So, with this one, didn't take long to do, really enjoyed it. So, you just gotta go with it and see where it ends up. But it looks good. Let's take her out.
so you don't miss out on further videos and similar nonsense, please like, feel free to comment, definitely subscribe, and press that bell shaped thingy to be woken up at all hours for further content. But for now, that's your lot.